So this is a new 2024 Forest River Vibe, model number 26RK. This thing is an absolute amazing couples travel trailer. Provides you a sleeping room for two, and you've got an outdoor kitchen, two air conditioners, heated holding tanks, on-demand water heater, electric jacks, and just several other really great features in such a compact trailer. If you're new here, I do welcome you to the channel, and let's get started. So we are gonna start on the inside first and then make our way out, but let's look at some of the numbers of the vehicle just to give you an idea on its size. So, you got a total length, including the tongue jack and the bumper of 33 feet, six inches long. Dry weight as it currently sits with the battery and without the pro tanks being filled is 6,843. Coming over here, there's some other important information. So, Gross vehicle weight rating is 7,941 pounds. You've got a, looks like you're riding on two twin 3,500 pound axles. You've got 1,060 pounds of available cargo capacity. You're riding on 14 inch rims, D-rated tires. And I'll try to leave the hitch weight about here in the video. And of course the camper is 96 inches wide and you're looking at probably right at 12 feet to the highest point but an amazing couple's travel trailer. So let's get you inside and get you turned around, but I figured we start all the way in the back since it is a rear kitchen, and then make our way all the way to the front before going outside. So if you are familiar with the Vibe, you are noticing a lot of big changes. The exterior color package slightly changed. They updated some of the graphics, but on the inside, it's like, wow. They've gone from a champagne color and gray option to now more of a cocoa brown, kind of a false leather. The cabinetry is a big upgrade. I'm gonna show you that once we get up closer. The vinyl flooring has been upgraded as well as no carpet in the slide. The table is also another big change. I'll show you that shortly. All of your windows, Vibe claims to have the largest windows in the industry. And these are all trimmed out with black roller shades as well. Lovely coach. It's, it's pretty amazing. I like all the features. It feels really, really solid inside. No composite countertops. These are solid surface. Last year you had a stainless steel sink. Now it's more of a, I guess that's more of a nickel color. Even your fixtures have been upgraded. The copper is very, very nice accenting with the black. The solid surface countertops all the way throughout your kitchen, your cabinets, let me show you this. So I carry this model, I've carried it for several years now and honestly one of the biggest issues that we have have always been with the cabinet doors. The material used to be a composite material that is wrapped in like a wallpaper. Well this year, there is no wallpaper on this material. I mean, you're looking at a material that's just been painted. It's kind of got like a rough texture to it as well. With climate changes like hot and cold temperatures, that's always the first thing that seems to go bad. The kitchen's very nice though. Lots of counter space. I love the backsplash, how it goes from the bottom of the counter all the way to the top. We even have 110 outlets under the cabinet there. Let me show you some of your pullouts. These are about 12 inches deep. And your oven's pretty much a standard RV oven, maybe room for a pie. And they always give you the additional matching pullout for your pots and pans. And I call this a gas station microwave. It's just big enough maybe for a small pizza or some, or maybe some Hot Pockets. So your fit fridge is a 12 volt fridge. This is a compressor fridge. It works off of that 200 watt solar panel found on the roof. There's also a 30 amp charger for that solar panel. My apologies, I'm the worst. I do not have the camper level right now. However, again, back to the solar package. 200 watt solar panel on the roof, and there is a 30 amp smart charger which monitors the charge on that battery. The battery is also included this year. They call it the, like a camp anywhere kind of package. So that is the electric fireplace. We all know that's pretty much just like a space heater. It keeps the living in the kitchen area nice and cozy. 
This is a sleeper sofa. I'll try to include a couple of videos overlaying the video here showing you what that looks like in its open position. So let me show you the table. This is quite amazing. You have sitting for two, or excuse me, four right now, but you can turn it sideways, giving it like either a sitting for two, or maybe even using it kind of like a desk. Pretty cool little mechanism, and you can even do it one-handed. It's extremely easy to do. Tucks nicely out of the way. Of course, you still have to find something to do with your chairs, but if you're looking for maybe just a desk with a really amazing view that's something that I like a lot compared to your traditional either freestanding table or the one that's mounted to the wall that like you know they call them the legless tables those are also very nice but the upgrade that they're giving you now is extremely nice so these two chairs here are recliners they do move about the floor and they're secured in place whenever you're in transportation so on board you do in fact have two air conditioning units this one is a 15k the second in the bedroom is going to be a 13.5. I'm searching for your heater vents. You have cabinet heats all the way throughout the vibe. You're not going to have any floor vents which, which attract a lot of dust or hair. This is one of the thermostats. I just plugged the camper in. This is controlling that air conditioner. Of course, this one's ducked. You notice you have vents all the way throughout. And of course in the bedroom. But back here in your bedroom though, you do in fact have a 13.5 air conditioner, which is just designated to cool your master bedroom here. Take a look at the headboard. So this has changed from last year. You had a hanging closet. So what they've done is they removed that closet, opening this up a lot more, and they're giving you this raised headboard. Well, what in the heck? That's just a pillow. So that's just something else that's going to take up more space for me when I'm trying to get ready for bed. What do you guys think? Leave the pillow or take it out? This will be your view if you're laying in the bed. Television connections are there. You can maybe mount upwards of a 32-inch TV. And you have some additional closet space. They include the organizer. That's what this is. Vibe always has an amazing storage space under the bed. And this is a good little place maybe to store some shoes. Let's take a look at your bathroom. So inside the travel trailer, the ceilings are already six foot eight. You've got close to a 10 inch step up to get into the shower. You do have the additional skylight for some additional headroom. And this is a two-piece plastic shower, by the way. So you got one piece here and then the pan. But look at this accordion-style shower curtain. Manufacturer claims that in the retract position, it has like a squeegee mechanism to dry itself. I still recommend leaving that in the open position once you were done showering. This is your view from the toilet. Plenty of leg room. Your countertops are different with the stainless steel bowl sink and the upgraded fixtures. I kind of like the brass copper look. So this control here is for the Suburban 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater. If you'd like to find more information on this model, there is a link that's in the description of the video down below. It would take you over to our website where you can also view more additional photos of each make and model that I post. But at date and time of making the video, MSRP, maybe you can pause the video here, is 57322 and our price can also be found in the link found down below. If you don't want to see anything on the outside, go ahead and drop me a couple of thumbs up or maybe even leave me a comment telling me what you think of the new changes on the inside of the new 2024 Forest River Vibe. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. It's compact. A lot of nice features. More bang for your buck. But let's start all the way in the front. We're going to go all the way around and we'll end the video right over here. You've got an electric tongue jack with two 10 pound bottles. That's a very simple upgrade. Adding 20 pounds is definitely easy. Your battery disconnect switch and the battery is directly from the factory. You've got a nice diamond plate 
to assist with maybe some of the different road debris that is kicked up from your tires. LED docking light on the three-quarter cap. It's called a three-quarter cap because it comes down three-quarter of the way and it's finished with that diamond plate. And that is the docking light here. Sorry for the sirens. This is the pass-through compartment of the, under the front. There's your floor joists and some of the welds to show the quality of the build. This is very nice too. Nice little place maybe to hang some stuff, maybe a couple of wrenches or tools that you bring along with you. And that is the light switch for the front docking light on the front cap. So the coach is going to be leveled, or should I say stabilized, from two sets of electric scissor jacks. These only go down until they fill about 8 to 10 pounds of pressure before they completely cut off. Can't go wrong though. It will cut off before it causes any damage. We've got a really big, about 15 foot awning. The steps are step above brand. They flip inside the door when you're in transportation. There's your outdoor speakers and your LED light underneath the awning there. Check out the spread on the axles. That makes for a much nicer tow. And this is your outdoor kitchen. So when it comes to the outdoor camp kitchen, Vibe does things a little differently. Normally you're gonna have a propane suburban griddle of some kind on most makes and models, but they're gonna give you the electric cooktop. They do not have a plumb sink though. This is only a pan for you to dump out your water and the connections for your spray port are found on the back. This is a outdoor fridge. And yes, the inside fridge will work while you're in transportation, except for this one. This one does require 110 power in order to operate. Coming around to the back, you got the 4x4 tube of the bumper. Good place to store your sewer line whenever you're finished camping. You're prepped to receive a blindside camera, as well as prepped to receive the ladder. All the manufacturers have just about removed the ladder this year, just giving you the component to add the ladder later. It allows for additional accessories back here on the bumper. So sewer connections on board, you're gonna have two different ones. We got one back here behind the tire, this is gray, and there's another set up in the front. Your slides are cable-driven slides, and I'm trying to stay out of the sun. Frameless windows. This is your second set of sewer connections in front of the tire. You have a gray and black handle. So multiple sewer hoses required if you're gonna hook all this up in unison. This is the 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater by Suburban. So this is what I call a docking station. Whenever you're getting ready to hook up your camper at your campsite, your water lines will come up through the floor, connecting to either city water connection or black tank flush, whichever you were doing. And the other is the fresh tank gravity fill. This is your built-in holding tank if you're maybe gonna be doing some dry camping. That is the smart charge which monitors the solar charge going to the battery. That's your 50 amp power cord. Pretty nice little unit, jam-packed with features and a pretty good sales price. Hope you guys like what you see. Come see us.